Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn more about TCP dump. TCP dump is one of the useful tools and one of the most important tools for network analysis. It can help you uh, find a lot of information by looking at the packets. First of all, if you want to check that TCP dump is uh, installed in your machine or not, you can use which TCP dump command. So uh, you can see that it is installed in my uh, laptop, in my machine. If, you, if it is not installed, you can use sudo apt install TCP dump. As you can see, uh, because it is installed in my machine, so nothing is going to happen. And uh, but if it is not installed in your machine, it is going to uh, install TCP dump. Uh, first of all, like uh, a lot of commands uh, in Linux, you can have a look on the help by using TCP dump dash dash help command, and you can see that there are some options that we are going to get familiar with some of them here and you can use them uh, based on your needs and necessities. But we are going to uh, look at the important commands for TCP dump uh, and we are going to get familiar with the, the ones that are important. Uh, first of all, for uh, running TCP dump, you need to write sudo TCP dump and it is going to start to sniff your packets until you hit Control C. So, uh, what are the information here? Uh, the first one is the time, the timing that uh, the time that the pack, uh, packet was captured. The second one is for the. Uh, let me find one that is uh, useful. Just let me open some websites. Okay. Uh, the second one is the IP and the port for the uh, for the source and the next one is for IP and uh, port for the destination and the next one is the flag uh, we have different flags for example here in this packet P which is for pushed flag uh, is set but we have other flags like S which is for uh, synchronization for syncing, uh, we have fin for finishing, we have r for resetting, and we have push p for push. The next one is the sequence number for this packet. Uh, the next one is for the ACK. It means that this is the ACK number for this packet. And the next one is showing the CVND or the buffer for this packet. And the last one is the length of the packet. These are useful information. <coughs> But at the end, you will see that we can write TCP dump to a file and uh, from the file, we can get a lot of useful information. Uh, the next command that we are going to uh, we are going to learn is dash C. Here, as I when you don't use any command and just you run sudo TCP dump, it is going to capture your uh, packets the net it is going to sniff your network until you hit control c but maybe you want to uh, analyze a certain number of packets for example you want to look at the 10 packets what sh uh, in this situation what you should is that you write sudo tcp dump and you use dash c the number of the packets okay in th in this case the number of the packets are going to be uh, limited to that number. As you can see, only 10 packets were captured. Okay. Uh, if you want to uh, sniff a specific uh, interface, as you remember by using if config or if config, uh, you can look at the, you can look at your interfaces. For example, I want to sniff this one for 10 packets. What should I do? write sudo tcp dump dash c 10 then dash i name of the interface in this case it is going to sniff that particular 
uh, interface. So TCP dump come till here. It sniffs the packets. Dash C specifies the number of the packets, and dash I specif specifies the interface that you want to sniff. Uh, if you want to have uh, a little more clear information without the names, just looking at the IPs, in this case you can use dash in in command. As you can see, in this case, the information that you are seeing, that you you, you can see, are more uh, clear and are more neat. The timing, IP of the source, port of the source, IP of the destination, port of the destination, and here the name of the uh, domain. If there are more information, for example, this is the protocol that uh, that was used. This is the length of the packet. It depends on the uh, information that can uh, sniff. For example, we can repeat the process for opening Microsoft. Uh, okay, it was again the same. It was for Google. Okay, but uh, we can increase the number of the packets. First thing, different uh, information. The length uh, has been changed, the window size has been changed, the sequence number and the other things has been changed. And even uh, you have some uh, option fields for some packets. So, dash NN is for uh, almost del deleting the names and giving us more neat information based on the IPs ports and the other things that we have learned, flag, sequence number, ACK number, window size and length of the uh, packet. And now if you want to do more filterings and sniff the packets for a specific host or a specific destination based on the IP, in this case you can uh, use the IP of the source or destination to do that. First let's for example, look at the IP of the uh, my uh, my interface. If I want to only uh, sniff this IP, what should I do? It is simple: T sudo tcp dump uh, host. So I should enter the IP of the host. Now every packet that is generated uh, that is uh, from this that is related to this IP address is going to be sniffed. More specifically, you can again add dash nn to see the uh, IP that for that is for the host in all of the packets. What if, if you want to do it for the destination, you just, instead of host, you should write destination. But for example, let's uh, look up an IP for a website such as google.com okay this is the where is it okay this is the IP address now we can add this to the destination IP address and we can see all the packets that are, that are for this destination, which is Google. So for adding uh, IP address of a source or destination, we can use source or this DS host or DSD for that. So sudo tcp dump dash c is for number of the uh, packets dash i is for specifying the ip of the interface and dash nn is for having a more neat information based on the ips host is for adding the host ip to just sniff the uh, the, the packets related to that dsd is for the destination ip if you want to sp uh, sniff a specific protocol, 
For example, just you want to look at the TCP. You can write the name of the protocol and packets for that protocol are going to be snifflets uh, at dash C, so uh, specific numbers, which is 10 is for that, okay, and maybe dash NN is going to be make it more neat. So you can see only uh, packets that uh, use TCP as the protocol. And you can see like win option for that and other things. If you want to do it for UDP, simply you can write UDP and it is going to sniff packets that uh, are UDP based. And in this case, you can see that UDP is written. Source, so time, source IP and port, destination IP and port, protocol type, length of the packet. <coughs> One of the most important tools that you can uh, use in TCP dump is writing the information <coughs> for packets to a file. For this, you use TCP dump dash W and name of the file, for example, uh, tcp.1 tcp1 dot pcap don't forget to write pcap uh, after the name of the file and you can add your filters but just we want to see the uh, writing process to a file so uh, now uh, the information the analysis are going to uh, be written to the file you can see it is not shown here but it is written to a file. When you want to stop the process, just you uh, uh, write, just you push control C to stop the process. And you can see that the file is here. You have two uh, ways, two main, two important, so I don't know, two main ways to open this file. One is uh, installing Wireshark in your system and double clicking on that and opening the uh, file by using Wireshark and you can see the, the packets uh, in the Wireshark and simply if you want to filter any specific protocol for example TCP you can do that and you can see the information for the <coughs> TCP or if you want to see the information for the UTP you can do that uh, in the future we will have a video for analyzing a packet especially a TCP based packet by using Wireshark the next uh, way that you can uh, select to read the file again is using TCP dump by uh, dash r dash r dash w is for write dash r is for read the name of then you can uh, write the name of the file and you can see the information uh, for the packet but as you can see Wireshark is providing more detailed uh, information that you can see. For example, you can choose a specific uh, packet for TCP and you can see a lot of information that is related to that packet. So in this video, we learned how to use TCP dump to analyze network by looking at the packets, by sniffing the packets. Uh, in the future that uh, we are uh, we are going to learn how to uh, work with Wireshark you can use the, uh, the tool to have a clear and accurate look on the packets and your networks condition.